Words can't hurt me, these shades are Gucci. There's nothing like a not, not, nothing like a good old drink, you know. Coming back home from work and or school, and open up the fridge, it's a hot summer evening. You just grab a beverage of your choice and it just <sighs> froze down the throat. Feels good, yeah, feels feels real good. But you know what's even better than that? Even better than grabbing a cold drink. It's grabbing a cold drink, taking an enthusiastic walk into the woods, and befriending a big fuck-off dragon, and convincing said dragon to come home and stay with you whilst being a maid. Japan, you're a genius for this one. Now, today on Who's Your Best Friend, we have Kobayashi from Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. For those of you who don't know what this anime is about, it's basically a slice of life anime where nothing really happens except that there's dragons, they turn into humans, they clean, they go to school, they try to feed you their tails. Now there's quite a menagerie of, of, of mythical monsters here. We have the loud one that cleans. We got the small one that has a very questionable relationship with an eight-year-old. We have fanservice.gif. We got the hungry one, and we have the tsundere one. Kobayashi is pretty much in the middle of this because she's the guardian of the loud one and the small one. Now Kobayashi agreed for these two dragons to live inside her apartment building. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would you let two mythical creatures capable of destroying the entire human race within a matter of hours stay in your apartment building? Now I was thinking the same thing too. I was thinking the same thing too. However, they are incredibly adorable. How can you say no to this face? How can you say no? This face right here, my nigga, this face right here is 100% proof, confirmation, that God exists. Isn't that right, V? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Plus, Tori can clean. So, Kobayashi doesn't really have to do anything. So, I mean, that that's plus points for finessing. Free labor, essentially. <laughs> Not only did she accommodate two homeless people, she went out of her way to rent a bigger apartment so that everyone else feels comfortable. That's wholesome, man. That's real wholesome. Plus, she took money out of her own account just so that Kana could go to school. Like, there's literally no need for a dragon to go to school. How many friends in your life, no, not, not, not even friends, how many people in your life do you know that would go out of their way to accommodate a banished child just so that they can go to school? Zero. That's how many. <laughs> Having a friend like this would be hella wholesome, and not just because of the money aspect. It's just that there'll be this air of goodwill whenever you're around Kobayashi, and that's a positive on the buddy bar for me. But let us not forget the most important reason why we'd be friends with Kobayashi. And that's because you get to ride a dragon. <laughs> Who the hell in their right mind would not want to ride a dragon? With consent, of course. You're literally going from zero to fuck off in a matter of seconds. Like, you're actually going to clouds, you're actually going from continent to continent. Fuck a passport, because this shit costs nothing. Plus, you get to see them fight too, you know? That's uh, it's pretty hardcore, it's pretty hardcore. I mean, life life has no choice but to be interesting at that point. But whoa, hold up, whoa there. As we know from past experiences, not every friendship is as it seems. So put down your bags, put down your bags, we ain't traveling nowhere yet. We gotta look at the negatives. Now a problem that you're gonna have to face with Kobayashi is that she's uh, a bit of a problematic drunkard. I mean, if wandering into a forest and helping a crippled dragon and not having 100% recollection of the event isn't a red flag, yeah, I don't know. This is, <laughs> you gotta, you, you gotta look at the kind of people that you're hanging around, man. Plus, she gets a little inappropriate too, and uh, by inappropriate, I mean asking Toru to strip butt naked in an eating establishment. Oi, Toru! Sekaku level takai maid dangi shiten da kara toru shiroya. Ah! Sumasen. To 
ソールタンのその角がコスプレ度をより高めてるんでやんすね自分ドラゴンなんでよくわかんないですすげえすげえいや No, no, just <laughs> no. Plus, the biggest deterrent to being a friend is that there's a 75 to 80% chance that Toru is plotting to kill you and will most likely succeed in killing you. She gets a little jealous from time to time. She's very close to Kobayashi, so. No one wants a magical man eating dragon on their ass 24-7. But all in all, despite the aspect of death and potentially being in a hangover esque situation, Kobe, ah, she's aye, she's aye. She's laxed, she's cool, she's small, and she just wants everyone to be happy from the, from the bottom of her heart. She has a hard time showing it, but you know, the intentions are there. She just wants everyone to be happy from her friends. Even to the people in her workspace, and I think that's a very valuable quality to have to have in a friend. So, yeah, I'd definitely be a friend.、Uh, would you be a friend? Let me know down below and make sure to finesse that like button on your way out and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, never ever ever grow up, and we will check you.